Hey guys, so I recently installed Windows 8 and today I'm going to be uh, showing you some of the new features that are in Windows 8 that weren't in any previous Windows versions. So you've probably heard that in Windows 8 there's no start button and sure enough if you look in the bottom left corner you'll see that there is no start button. Instead when you hover over that corner a little box that says start appears and if you press on it you'll go to the start screen. So here's the start screen and Microsoft has substituted the start menu with the start screen which is a lot more uh, rich in its features it can do a lot more and uh, as you can see it fills an entire page. So one of the uh, things from the start screen that's new in Windows 8 is the Microsoft Store. If you uh, press on it, it basically uh, some simple apps that you can install and uh, a lot of them are free. For example, if I go into games I can um, look for games that I like. Uh, a lot of them are free um, but some some cost money and you could just look. As you can see it has the Metro interface which uh, which basically means it has tiles uh, arranged in this kind of fashion which is the same uh, the start menu is also start screen sorry it's also that same interface the metro interface uh, as you can see it has tiles so uh, that's that's pretty much it for the store and one thing I wanted to point out is that uh, Windows 8 has added a lot of ways to multitask so if you scroll to the top corner and scroll down from there or scroll to the bottom corner and scroll up from there you'll see all of the open uh, applications in the background. Um, so Windows 8 counts the desktop as an open application, so if you're not on the desktop, you'll see the option to switch to the desktop. And now I switch to the desktop. If I go again, I'll see that the store is open, and I can right-click to close it. Also, if I want to run both the desktop and the store side-by-side, side, I can take the store, hold it, and bring it to the side where I can choose uh, how much screen space I want to give each program and uh, multitask between the two programs. And if I slide all the way, then the other one will uh, get off the screen. Another way of doing this is on the current window, if you go to the top and you drag it down, you can uh, move the icon to either side of the screen and snap it to that side of the screen and then multitask and take another app uh, to the other side. So. Windows 8 has um, made it much easier to, to multitask and that's one of the things that uh, definitely are, are really uh, good about it. So one of the, um, now I'm going to go over some of the personalization. Um, if you're wondering about the control panel then just go to settings, uh, sorry you have to scroll to the bottom corner and scroll up from there uh, in order to get here. It takes a little bit of time to get used to but uh, it's actually pretty handy uh, once you get used to it. So go to settings and control panel. And this is the control panel that we've been used to uh, in all of the previous Windows versions that uh, that was kind of um, a lot of people found it difficult to uh, find a way to get here in the beta versions of Windows 8. So they've made it uh, easy for us to get there right through uh, the control panel up here. But one other thing I wanted to point out is change PC settings, which um, which is kind of the control panel for all the new Windows 8 features. Uh, it goes to some of the basic basic features as well, but it it's mostly the Windows 8 features. For example, the lock screen, start screen, and uh, count picture. So if you go to the lock screen, you could choose which picture you want as your background for the lock screen, which is kind of the screen uh, that you get when you log out it's the equivalent of logging out in Windows 7 or 8. Not exactly the equivalent because you can still log out but it's similar and uh, you can browse for photos and you can add apps to your lock screen. Uh, next you can go to users and this is pretty self-explanatory uh, just you can add different accounts or change the some basic settings for existing accounts and notifications. So in Windows 8 notifications can appear in the top right corner uh, from any of these apps that are on and you could just turn any of them off uh, to stop notifications coming from that app. And there's the search feature um, which is pretty simple. Uh, also Windows will save searches as kind of search history that, um, that it'll use as suggestions later. So you could turn that on or off and share. Uh, again it's all pretty easy because uh, Windows 
uh, Microsoft wanted to make Windows 8 as user friendly as possible. So uh, this it really should be easy for you to get it. Uh, just scroll to the corners. It's a really nice uh, interface. And um, so just uh, look around, and that's pretty simple. So let's go back to the desktop. And again, I'm just going to show this example. If I want the desktop open on the side, then I could still um, I could still work with the PC settings from here. All right. Anyways, let's close the PC settings. And um, the next thing is the desktop. So if you look at the desktop, you'll see that um, it's pretty similar to all the previous versions of Windows. And uh, you can see that the um, the the arrow theme is a little bit more 2D. The Windows uh, 7 uh, some people say it looked a little, bit, a little bit better because it was more 3D and it's true that it was more 3D. The Windows 8 is a lot more flat, a lot more simple um, but I kinda like that about it. So one of the things is um, a file explorer. So here if you go to this, uh, sorry not the file explorer, the, the ribbon interface on the file explorer. If you go to this arrow and uh, expand it you'll see this, uh, this is what is called the ribbon interface. So if you've used Microsoft Office, you'll be familiar with this. Basically what it is, is it's a really user-friendly way to, um, to navigate around your uh, file explorer. And uh, as you can see, there are different tabs, just like in uh, Office, Microsoft Office. And uh, besides that, the file explorer is pretty much the same as, as um, in previous versions of Windows. Okay, the next thing is task manager so they've re redesigned the task manager and um, you can look around and see look around and see um, that it's organized into apps background processes and then windows processes also you can sort by the cpu usage which will put uh, everything that is uh, using the highest cpu up first or you can sort by RAM, uh, which will do whichever is using the most RAM uh, first. Um, so it's a really nice uh, way to see all the open uh, tasks. Also, performance, it'll look at, um, it's a nice, easy way to look at uh, your computer's performance. Again, it's very user friendly. And uh, here you have startup, app history. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to understand, and it's a nice redesigned task manager. Okay, so um, going along with the task manager thing, uh, Windows 8 has become much uh, much faster and uh, has much better performance. It doesn't crash as much, and um, and it's much easier to multitask because a lot of the system services uh, were designed to take up less space. Uh, after all, it was kind of designed for tablets as well as desktop computers but um, they wanted to make it compatible with tablets so they had to cut down on the services but uh, so you'll see that the performance is definitely much better also one great thing about it is the boot uh, the boot time so if you go to your start menu and type in power options uh, go to settings over here so it searches by settings and go to power options then press choose what the power buttons do you'll see that there's something called fast startup so in previous versions of windows when you shut down your computer it would stop all of the processes and services and shut down your um, shut down your processing unit what it does in um, windows 8 is it just hibernates all of your system processes and then turns off um, your user processes but the important system processes that take seconds, uh, like about 10 seconds to start up on computer startup on, it, on an average computer are just hibernated. So they only take about one second. And then it just needs uh, to start up a couple simple user processes and uh, that's it. So I've noticed that my boot time increased, uh, increased by very much uh, because of this option and by default it is checked. Uh, so, so fast startup is definitely great and even without it, the Windows 8 boot is a little bit faster because, as I uh, mentioned earlier, Windows 8 has been designed uh, to be uh, very fast. But the fast startup really makes a huge difference. Okay, so that's pretty much it for what I wanted to uh, show in this video. 
So as you can see, Windows 8 has some new features, some new things, and uh, I hope this video helped you learn about Windows 8, and thanks for watching.